Hey guys, we've got another Vampire Counts model for you. And this is the Corpse Cart. Bit of a, a brutish model, looks very nasty. Um, on the field, and then their backstory goes around raising zombies pretty much and dragging them on behind the undead horde. Really, really fun model to paint this one as well. Had a lot of fun with this. There's a lot of fun little bits of detail and they're just awesome so these front zombies here the uh, manual zoom on the camera again not really wanting to play but they're actually staked to the front of the cart and that's how it pulls itself along and then in the top of the cart we've got some corpses in there little guy getting eaten little rat having all this fun rats bursting through his stomach and all these dead corpses and what I did to paint those really was dry brush them so they're uh, they're undercoated with uh, first of all, I can't remember. It was a really really dark brown, and it's completely gone out of my head. Uh, but then they had a, a dry brush, quite a heavy dry brush of uh, calcium brown over that, and uh, on top of that, I believe it was elf flesh I used for these. But again, nice light dry brush, and it brings out some shadows and some depth of shading in there. Um, I put a very, very light glaze, very light wash of Ogryn flesh over the top as well, just to settle in some final recesses. Uh, picked out some bits and bobs in the clothing, a little bit of red wash from the open wounds to show where the blood's dripped out. Really fun model to paint with some nice gory bits of detail in there. And then you've got this guy at the back here, the Necromancer, or the Wraith, or the White, depending on whether you're having it as a, a normal corpse cart or a mount for a necromancer, which you can do in their rules. And he's a pretty sick get picking up uh, more bodies as he goes. Uh, so in the game, they can be used as mounts for necromancers, so they can go around casting magic at people. They also uh, have their own effect of, um, I think it's uh, undead miasma, which can make your uh, undead march, even if there's no vampire about. And it also has Balefire on this one, which is an upgrade which interferes with the enemy magic, uh, enemy magicians or wizards or casters that are within 24 inches. Uh, it uh, has a negative effect on their spell casting. Can't remember it off the top of my head without looking in the book again. But that's a very nice, uh, very nice corpse cart. This is actually the second one that I did, uh, but then I had a bit of a, a chop and a change around. Uh, with the f no, sorry, it's the first corpse cart that I did. It's the second figure at the back. I took the figure off the second and swapped him for the first because the second corpse cart, I didn't want two to look the same. So if I take that one off, the second corpse cart that I did, let's bring him in here. Da -da -da -da. Quick switch, are you impressed? The second corpse cart I had a bit of fun with. So again, the bodies all painted, a couple of different hairstyles for them. That uh, dry brushed and washed again, and uh, this one I put the undead lodestone on the back. Now the lodestone, instead of bale fire, uh, gives you a bonus when you're raising zombies. You raise extra zombies basically, and it just makes everything a little easier to bulk the army up. But the obvious difference is this corpse cart's not pulled by zombies, and what it is got. I suppose they are zombies. There's two direwolves on the front there. Straining away. Chained to the cart across there. With the uh, necromancer at the back there. And his long whip. Cracking them on into the night. So two of these little beauties. Lined up in the middle of the undead horde. Casting magic at the enemies and raising more zombies. And just being generally unpleasant as they go but they are two beautiful looking models in the undead easily the most fun to paint and the best looking kits in the armies I mean really they are just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous just put them around each other I mean look at that sick twisted and absolutely brilliant I love them um, really fun to paint and I've got to stop saying that because it's going to become a trademark for me 
Um, but I really, really do like these kits, guys, and I'm probably going to get around to doing a third, but I have no idea what I'll have it pulled by. Um, might actually half-inch some Tomb King stuff to whack on the front, a bit more skeletal. Uh, could do some undead horses, but they're pulling things like the black coach already, so that's been done. I'll work something out anyway. Slaves might be good. Oh, Skaven. I could do some undead Skaven rats on there. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, I digress. So those are my corpse cats, guys. Cheers for watching, and uh, yeah, chat to you again soon. Bye.